Hello, Thomas Malchow here, and in this video, I'm sharing with you a secret that Olympic and professional athletes use to increase their power and showing you how we can use this same secret to increase our club head speed. But first, a little physiology lesson. Generally speaking, we have two different types of muscle fibers, slow twitch and fast twitch, and we have them in roughly equal proportions. Now, fast twitch muscle fibers contractions are much faster and more powerful than the slow twitch. However, the fast twitch fibers also fatigue more quickly. And so depending on what type of activity we're doing, our nervous system will recruit the appropriate fibers in the appropriate proportions. The golf swing is a very fast and powerful movement and is therefore reliant on our fast twitch fibers. The interesting thing, however, is that when we swing a golf club, our nervous system does not recruit all of our fast twitch fibers. In fact, it leaves a high percentage unactivated. And so if we can find a way to get our nervous system to tap into these unactivated muscle fibers, we would be more powerful, swing the golf club faster, and of course, hit the ball farther. And if we could do all of that without gaining any muscle mass, that's even better because biomechanically, mass is something we have to overcome to generate speed, including the mass of our own body. Post-activation potentiation is a phenomenon that allows us to do all of that, and this is how it works. Strength movements elicit a high response from, or a high recruitment, rather, of fast twitch fibers. And so what we do is we combine two movements, a strength movement with a speed movement. The strength movement potentiates our fast twitch fibers, and then we apply that potentiation to the speed movement. And the theory is that by doing this, we train our nervous system to recruit more fast twitch fibers when we do that speed movement. Now, when it comes to golf, we have a lot of different options to choose from when it comes to which strength movement and which speed movement to choose. I would always prefer to choose actually swinging the golf club for the speed movement. And while we're at it, why don't we just pick the two movements that have been chosen for scientific studies and have proven to work. So the two movements are the speed movement, swinging a golf club, and the strength movement is called a counter movement jump. So we would start with the counter movement jump, which is where we would have our hands up above our head like this. You're gonna squat down as forcefully as you can and then up as forcefully as you can. And we'll do three reps of this, okay? So it would look like this. We would then take a two to three minute rest and then grab your golf club and swing your golf club three to five times as fast as you possibly can. Now the two to three minutes rest is vitally important. It might not seem like you need that much rest, but metabolically you do. And the reason for that has to do with where your fast twitch fibers get their fuel from, specifically where they get their fuel from when you swing a golf club. Because that's what this is all about. I don't care about how good you get at jumping around and transitioning from one exercise to another. This isn't CrossFit. You're an athlete and we're here to make you better at golf. And so when it comes to swinging a golf club, your fast twitch fibers get their fuel from creatine phosphate. And the creatine phosphate is the preferred fuel for any powerful activity lasting one to six seconds. After six seconds, your body runs out of creatine phosphate and it then takes two to three minutes to replenish. So the three jump squats are going to deplete your body of creatine phosphate. And if you don't rest the full two to three minutes and replenish your creatine phosphate, your body will then switch to glycogen, which is, which is fine, except we're here to make you better at golf. And in doing so, we wanna exploit every corner of your biology, including your metabolism. So rest a full two to three minutes. Let your creatine phosphate replenish. So again, three counter movement jumps, two to three minutes rest. Grab your golf club, swing it three to five times as hard as you can, and measure it if you have one of those devices that can do so, or even just do it right before you tee off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.